recording, I'm going to show you how to set up and export your logo designs. I'll click on New File, and I'm going to choose Print 5x5, which you should be able to build over here if you want to. Let's name it um, with your initials, minor RG, dash, and then logos. Remember not to put any spaces in file names. We want five artboards, and then if we scroll down here to more settings, we can choose to have them set up so that they line up side by side. That's this button here. And I'd like three inches in between each artboard. Click Create Document, and here we have it. So I'm going to get my zoom tool and zoom in on artboard one. I'll press my spacebar key to move this up and get it centered. With the T tool, I'm going to draw a large text frame. And Adobe Illustrator will automatically fill it with lorem ipsum. I'm going to type my first initial, an R, and then in the character palette, I will choose to make that about 300 point. So you can see it's a nice big R. I'm going to change the font to a font that I love, which is Bodoni. And I think I'll choose this version of it. And then, um, let's see. Oops, I didn't mean to move that. With my text tool, I should be able to make this text frame smaller. Maybe not. With my selection tool, I can hold my Option or Alt key and duplicate this. The reason I'm duplicating it is so that I can change it to my the first letter of my last name. And I'll have two letters that are the same point size, the same color, and the same case. That creates unity. Now I'm going to just move them around until I come up with a design that I like. So I'm thinking about the Gestalt principles, right? There's continuance. That would be fun. If I did this a lot bigger, let's say 400. Let me make this one 400 also. Then I might be employing the Gestalt principle of closure. If this were to hang off, then you could still see what it is. But I'm kind of thinking that I'm liking what's happening here. So perhaps, oh, look at that. That could be interesting. Yeah, I think something like this. I can use this selection tool to draw a box that touches both of them, and that will allow me to select them both and move them. It's good to fill the artboard as best you can. And then let's go and make another one. So each logo design should be completely different from the last. And I will put, this time I don't want 400 point, I'll start with 200. And I'll change the font to Balboa Plus. It's another one that I've bought that I really like. And so there's a nice big B. Let's see, I should make it an R. And I don't know, I think I'll make this really big. Oops, 500 was too big. Let's try four. 400, OK. So I've told you that you may not use any shapes, no rectangles or lines, only letters. And the only time you would use a white letter instead of a black letter would be, and let me draw another text frame. Oops. This is why I like the artboards far apart, so I don't create a text frame in a text frame. I'm going to make a G here. That's an L. I want to make this... Uh, 200 point, maybe even, well, let's see. I'll make this into a G, and then I'll also make it white. I'm going to show you another fun gestalt principle here. With my selection tool, I can move this G. So now you see we've got closure. 
the gestalt principle of closure happening here because the G is open. It doesn't close, but your mind closes it anyway, and you can read it as a G. So that's centered on the artboard. I like that one. And the idea is, let me zoom out, to fill all five artboards with completely different logo designs. Remember that you can rotate using the rotate tool. You can, it's black and white only. And if you're gonna use white, it's gonna have to be on top of a thick black letter because you cannot use the box tool to build shapes. Um, once you have chosen your favorite of all five of these, you will save it, file, save as, I've already named it. So you're gonna save it into your Google Drive um, and then you're going to export your favorite one. So file, <clears throat> export as. Now these artboards each have a logo on them by the time you finish. If you use artboards, if your favorite one is artboard two, that's the artboard that you'll choose to export and post onto the discussion board. All right, I look forward to looking at your work.